Good morning, this is your AI host, Jay. I'm here with the automatically generated, Jernita, morning headlines on October 11, 2023. Here he had nobody. Strangers bury young Britain in quiet, jittery Jerusalem. The Guardian, JFS School pays tribute to Nathan L. Young after Israel attack. Hampstead Highgate Express, lone soldier's funeral attracts hundreds to Jerusalem's Mount Hetzel Cemetery. Israel-Hamas war, would Israel attack Iran, and what would the risks be in the Middle East and beyond? Sky News, Iran's supreme leader denies involvement in Hamas attacks. NBC News, backquote you and your Hamas friends. Backquote, Israel responds to Iran backquote SI Atollah in rare social media exchange. WION, the West must wake up to Iran's threat. The Telegraph, Iran's role in Israel conflict is like a Russian nesting doll. Canary Island schools close and wildfire revives in soaring temperatures. The Guardian, wildfire warnings issued for popular Spanish holiday hotspots. Manchester Evening News, Spain travel warning issued to tourists over risk of fires amid soaring temperatures. Chronicle Live, Spain travel warning as fires could rage through holiday hotspots. Liverpool Echo, heat forces Spain's Canary Islands to suspend schools. Night train extended to link Brussels and Amsterdam to Prague. Titan sub, presumed human remains found in search for debris. Sky News, US Coast Guard recovers remaining parts from imploded Titan submersible. The Guardian, remaining debris from destroyed Titan sub found on Atlantic seabed. BBC.co.uk, US Coast Guard recovers presumed human remains in parts of Titan submersible. STV News, human remains found four months after Titan submarine imploded during Titanic dive. Syria accused of pervasive torture in first global case over civil war. The Guardian, Canada and the Netherlands take Syria to top UN court. Hampstead Highgate Express, Canada and the Netherlands take Syria to top UN court. They accuse Damascus of widespread torture. The Independent, World Court to hear watershed Syria torture case. Al Monitor, Syria a no-show at torture court case brought by Canada, Netherlands. Elon Musk asks to see list of violations after EU tells him to tackle spread of disinformation about Israel-Hamas conflict on X Sky News. Misinformation further inflames the Israel-Palestine conflict. Euronews, Elon Musk's vision for free speech on X tested by Israel-Hamas war misinformation. Financial Times, look at the horror of the Israel-Hamas war, then at Elon Musk's X site. It's clear he's not fit to run it. The Guardian, don't look to Elon Musk's X for reliable information on Israel or Palestine. Israel-Hamas war, US sends technical experts to assist in hostage recovery in Gaza. Sky News, Biden confirms Americans are being held hostage by Hamas. MSNBC, Israel at war with Hamas after unprecedented attacks, live updates. CNN, Pentagon offers help on hostage rescue planning. The Wall Street Journal, Israeli AMB. Regev, Israeli counter-attack pause would be a mistake. British Israeli survivor tells of horrific scenes after kibbutz attack. The Guardian, Hamas terrorists post murder of Israeli grandmother on her Facebook page. The Telegraph, Israeli grandmother kidnapped by Hamas won't show them she is scared, ITV News. ITV News, they broke in and murdered her, British-Israeli family heartbroken after teen killed by Hamas. I News, in Offercombe, one woman's graceful bravery offers precious solace to a grieving nation. Kefir Azza, inside the Israeli border village where babies were slaughtered in Hamas attack. The Independent, inside Kefir Azza where Hamas militants killed families in their homes. BBC.co.uk, murdered in cold blood, stories emerge of Israelis killed at Gaza border. The Guardian, Israeli village near the Gaza border lies in ruin, filled with the bodies of residents and militants. The Independent, bitterness and fury at the kibbutz where babies had their throats cut. Israel-Hamas war live, US, Israel and Egypt discussing safe passage from Gaza for civilians, Israeli deaths pass 1,200. The Guardian, airstrikes target entire Gaza neighborhoods as ground attack appears inevitable. The Independent, Israeli troops mass on Gaza border as death toll from Hamas attack passes 1,000. The Guardian, Israel says Gaza border finally secured as airstrikes continue, BBC News. 
This was all for the news. Thanks for listening. Please do not forget to like and subscribe.